Well, hey, everybody, I'm Matt Mosler, the pastor of New Life Church here in Pine Bluff, and I want to welcome you to another installment of NLC Live, and we got a great verse today. It's 2 Timothy. It's out of the book of 2 Timothy. I love the book of 2 Timothy. You got this older guy, Paul, and he's mentoring this younger guy, Timothy. It's this old man passing on his sage wisdom to this young guy, and Look what this older guy is instructing this younger guy to do. Look how he's mentoring him. He says this in chapter 3, verse 16. 2 Timothy 3, 16 says this. All scripture is inspired by God. It's coming from right from God, Tim. Listen to me. And all of the scripture is profitable for teaching, reproof, correction, and training in righteousness. Why? So that the man of God, or the woman of God, may be adequate, may be equipped for every good work. Now, you know what that means? That means that there's a good work for us to do. Everybody. Everybody's got a good work that God has created for us to do. And the way that we're able to do that, the way God has created us to do it, is he's given us directions. He wants us to be adequately equipped to do what he's called us to do. Have y'all ever tried to put something together? But you didn't want to read the directions. Now, I know you younger generation, you never read directions anyway. You go to YouTube and you watch a YouTube video and, and you're, I mean, I'm guilty of that too. But back in the day, we old guys, we would get something and we'd have a piece of paper that would have the instructions on it. Well, we don't use that. I know how to put it together. I don't need the, my wife put together something to put her shoes on in the closet, read the directions, looks great. I don't need to read directions. I'm smart enough to put it together myself. Of course, when I do and I screw it up, I call the repairman. The repairman comes out and he says, I mean, he fixes it just like a bing, bang, bong. I said, how do you do that? How'd you get that fixed like that? How'd, the, how'd you make it work like that? He said, well, I just read the directions. Listen, Paul says, there's a good work for you. And I want you to be adequately equipped for this good work. I'm calling you to it. And here's how I'm going to get you ready for it. Read these directions and you'll be able to do what I've called and commissioned you to do. And Paul says in Romans, I urge you, therefore, brethren, Romans 12, 1, by the mercies of God, to present your body a living and holy sacrifice, acceptable to him, because that's your spiritual service of worship. In other words, humble yourself before God. Don't conform to this world, but listen, be transformed through the renewing of your mind. Change the way that you think. Fill your mind with God's word. And you know what's going to happen? You'll be able to prove what the will of God is for your life, that which is good, acceptable, and perfect. You want to know what God's will for your life is? You want to be able to do the work that God has called you to do? You want to be equipped for it adequately? Read the directions. It's all in here, y'all. And the more we fill ourselves up with God, the clearer his direction will become. Amen. Isn't that good stuff? Let me pray. God, we love you. And we thank you for your instruction. We thank you that you prepared ahead of time to give us this instruction so that we might be able to do what you've called and commissioned us to do. Thank you, Jesus. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. God bless you.